Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold which will be for last week Monday through Thursday April 3rd through April 6th. A lot of bread and butter sales that's what's keeping me afloat. I do have a couple of better sales but not really a lot. You know when eBay slow and the other platforms are slow you know, it's just right now people aren't shopping for whatever reason. Like, I think a lot of people are getting into the spring break or you know, things like that. So, it is what it is. But y'all, this week, this week that I'm in right now, probably my slowest week in forever. But my saving grace is that I've had a couple of really large dollar sales. So, that has helped me a lot. But it's, it's, you know, we got to keep doing what we're doing. For us personally, this is our primary income. So, you know, I've got to just keep hoping that things are going to get better and then doing the things that I normally do to try to boost myself up in the algorithm. I'm taking offers that I might not have considered before just because, you know, I've got bills to pay. But we went out today and did some yard sales, which was really, really nice. But you guys might hear it in a minute. We've got a storm coming in, and I've had a couple of really loud, booming thunders. So, but I, I, I'm hoping it's past us. I'm, I'm planning on it and you guys not hearing it. But if you see me jerk, you know, it'll probably be thunder. All right, let me go ahead and get this started. All right. Sales from three platforms. I did not have any sales on Etsy. Etsy's been very slow for me, and I'm starting to contemplate whether I want to keep adding to it because it just seems something changed with them, and my sales are way down on there, and I don't want to keep paying these 20 cent rollovers um, when I'm not hardly making anything on there. So I'm going to have to contemplate that issue. Anybody else in that wagon right now? I'm, I just, I don't know. But I got two Mercari's to share with you. This was a Boyd's Bear Love You Grandma plush. It sold for $8. And then this Blue's Clues Josh figure. I listed him hoping that I would find um, some figures to go with him. But he sold, which that's fine with me. He sold for $6 couple of posh sales. This was an Indiana Glass Bunny Rabbit. It sold for $20. A lot of work for $20 as far as packing, although I don't do it. Robert does, but I was at a um, estate sale, I think, earlier this week or last weekend, and they had several of these, and I just, for $3 and $4, and I just thought it's probably not something I'm going to pick up unless it's an, a unique color. Best Made Toys Devil Plush. I, I like picking up any plush that is the devil. It tends to sell. This one said, I love you or love you on it. It sold for $12 on Poshmark. Love Poshmark because it's so easy. I think it could potentially be my favorite if I would just make more sales on there. Because, you know, you make a sale, you put it in a priority, whatever, ship it off. And when they receive it, you know, they've got a couple of days to say yes or no that it's in the condition that they expect it. And then that's done. These 30-day returns on eBay, which I want to talk about that in a minute, they're just annoying. They're annoying. I wished eBay would take it back to like they have 7 or 10 days to return stuff or it's just over. Walmart Lamb Plush. This was seven inch. I think they sent me a message uh, saying their child had just lost it and was so glad that they found it on Poshmark. It sold for $11. And then Levi's Women's Jeans um, sold for $14. This week we've been trying to really work on clothes. I had tall piles here and Robert's almost done, so we'll go ahead and pull some more out and get them processed. When I help him, I tend to do the jackets and shirts and dresses because he doesn't like doing them when he's just him. He likes just to do the jeans, but we're, we're plowing through that stuff. 
and then eBay. Quite a few to share, but again, a lot of it is bread and butter. This is a Plaz Brown Bear Plush from 1985, sold for $10 on eBay. Petunia Pig Plush from 1998. She still had her little paper tag, sold for $9.15. The funny thing is, is this sold already previously, and it was a return, um, not a return, there was something wrong with the address, and I tried to contact the buyer, and I never could get a hold of them. Lego Ninjago. This hadn't even been listed a month. Um, I thought it was going to be a slow seller, but it sold pretty quickly. Um, it is by Manhattan Toys. Sold for $13.75. Disney Store Finding Nemo. 15 inch. I do really well with them. I don't find them very often, but they tend to sell quickly. This one sold for $17.43. This is a Pyrex Accessories One Cup Sifter. Plastic made in the USA. What's funny is I bought this at an estate sale. I want to say I paid 50 cents for it. And as we were checking out, Robert was like, I checked the comps on that. That really wasn't worth picking up. It was only going to sell for a couple of dollars. But that's not what I saw. And then so we came back and we compared notes. And all of a sudden he saw solds for about this amount. Pay him 50 cents. I'm good with that. Um, but you, sometimes it just is odd how he'll look something up on his phone and then I look it up and we get totally different answers. But it sold very quickly. It kind of got buried and it didn't get listed for a while, but I don't even think this was listed a month either. Cole's Cares, love picking them up. I sell them all year. This year I've I'm determined to try to find some of the books, but the few yard sales I've been to so far, I've not been able to find any good children's books to start picking up to list. But this is Hootie Owl from Aesop's Fables, $8.23. Again, it was probably a Ben's pickup, so I have hardly anything in it. Ertl Thomas the Tank Train, Sir Topham Hat. This is a die cast figure. I'm pretty sure this came from the bins also. I found one of the bins was just full with a lot of the Trackmaster um, motorized trains. This was in there with it. $9.15. And he's only two and a half inches tall. Hobby Lobby. I pick up all things. Um, the plush from there. They tend to do very well for me. This sheep sold for $15. Six Flags Wonder Woman Bear Plush. Funny thing with this is it sold for its full asking price, which means I had just ended it and did sell similar, and it sold. I'm still on that bandwagon. I think it's it's working for me. And the other day, um, Beth, the moderator for my Facebook group, sent me a message saying she was looking up comps, well, looking up stuff on Google, for something that she had found and my plush was there. Now I end all of my listings every 30 days and I've, I've been told in comments that I shouldn't do that because Google isn't going to pick up my, my listings, but she found one of my listings on there. So I don't think that that is an accurate statement. So I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing, which I think really has helped keep me making at least enough sales to you know, pay our bills. But he sold for $9.95, if I hadn't said that already. This, I must have picked up at an estate sale, but I don't remember it. That happens when you buy as much stuff as I do. This is by Success Plush Inc. It was just a nylon black spider. Same type of material as my little favorite puffalumps over there. This sold for $16.51. I had a huge lot of Toy Story 3 figures, and it sat for a very long time. And I think I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to make large lots when I get them. I think I'm going to put them either in small lots or sell individually. So I went ahead and took that listing down and put them in small lots or individually, and... 
all of a sudden three of the things sold. I'll show you the other one in a second. But somebody bought this Trixie and Rex Dinosaurs for $18.35. So definitely keep your eyes out for um, Toy Story small little figures. Usually I put cake, cake toppers on there, but I didn't for some reason on this. Um, but I do really well with Toy Story still. Country Cozies. I picked up um, several of these. I think two bears and another animal. I can't remember. But um, 19 inch. Again, they had that nylon body. $15.59. And it did have some discoloration on there that didn't come out when I washed them. Just make a note of it and show it in the pictures, right? This is Pixie Elf Christmas Ornament. Anytime I find vintage pixie stuff in the Christmas category, I tend to list them individually. There are avid collectors out there for this type of stuff. This one did have a sticker on it that said Hong Kong. This sold for $15. I'm pretty sure it was in the box lots of Christmas stuff that I picked up in an estate sale. I think we paid $15 or $20 per box. And... I've listed most of it. I've got one box right here that just has a few things in it that I haven't done anything with. You know, I tend to pull all the stuff out that I just really love myself, and then the rest of it sits there. Maybe I'll put it in a yard sale. I don't know. These were called Country Garden Collection Plates. I think I had mugs and plates. I decided to list them individually. They've been listed a while, but recently I figured out how to do the volume discount and went ahead and added it to everything, and I've done really well. I've sold a lot of multi-quantity dishes this way, and somebody did buy four of these plates for $36.60. Araya Women's Jean Shorts sold on Best Offer for $10. Here's another one of the Toy Story figures, sold for $10.25. His name is Stretch. I don't know if I've seen Toy Story 3. I probably need to. These, I think, came from that bin lot that I picked up a bunch, and I've got another pile of them from another trip that I need to test and get listed. But a lot of these I list um, individually. This is Hero from 2013. He sold for $9.06. This bear is from uh, Platinum, I think is the brand. 1989. The tag was faded. Alice made a comment in one of my recent videos, and I need to do this. So a lot of times when I go to wash my plush, um, I don't I need to take a picture of the tag because a lot sometimes they fade. Some, and then I forget what brand it was. I'm going to start doing that. That was a really good idea to make sure I at least can remember the brand, even if the tag fades. You know, just take a picture of the bear, take a picture of the tag, and then if, when it washes, if the tag, you know, is faded, then at least I still know because I list a lot of stuff that I've washed and I can't remember who the manufacturer is. So that was a really good idea. I'm going to start doing that. If I didn't say this bear sold for $11.91. Now this is Fisher Price Little People Bigger figures. Let me see. Yeah, I've got a couple of them up there. They look like the originals. They're plastic. I almost kind of consider them like toddler size. Um, but this one was dated 1974. A lot of times they came in like toys that would float in the bathtub. This one was just, I don't even know. I hadn't seen this one before. Sold for $11.91. We bought, we buy a lot of coffee mugs. And they're, they, they sell sporadically, you know. But a lot of times I buy them cheap, a quarter, 50 cents. Um, but we bought a bunch and I have a feeling this is from that one. Um, it was like, four for a dollar something like that and then we went back on half price day and got even more of them this person definitely had a coffee cup issue but these were from circus circus i actually picked up two of them and that's why you see the number two on here they were just slightly different so i listed them individually 
I can another one that sold at full asking price, which means I ended it and then it sold immediately after I relisted it. Kenner Care Bears. This is from, they were called like environmental series. Very different. Um, I haven't found them very often. This is probably like the second one. Um, and I would think that they should sell for more, but they really don't. This one sold for $15. Prayer Bear, Prayer Bear, Bears, Prayer Bears, but there's other animals. Oh no, that one just threw me off there. I pick up almost all of these plush, and it doesn't matter what brand. This one just happens to be Midwood Brands. I think Hug Fun does them, Dandy does them, a lot of them, and they're definitely bread and butter, and as long as they're still working... The thing is, they got to be clean because I don't want to clean them because they do have the sound box in their hand. Um, I sell them all the time. This one sold for $9.15. This is an Shippo Anime Inuasha plush. I think the like author or the whatever of this series, I think it's a TV series maybe, is R Rumiko Takahashi. Okay. Um, this one was from 2004, still had its paper tag, sold for $18.35 very quickly. I think this was a Robert thing. We went to an estate sale last summer, and he, he just bought a bunch of vintage porcelain, Honko, all of that stuff. Um, they've been selling. I, would I do it again? No, because it's a lot of work to store take these pictures and store them carefully. Um, Robert knocked a box down recently off of one of my shelves. And of course it was all of this stuff and broke most of it. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not into this, these little nicky knack stuff, but it's still sold $12 and 65 cents for this little pig and kitten. This is a viewer sale, so thank you very much, Sherry. She posted in my video as soon as it went live that she was very interested in these. Um, I guess she collects these, so she grabbed them up as soon as I got them listed. These were the tea bunnies. I picked them up at a recent Goodwill stop. We don't normally stop at Goodwill, but it was a different town. And I ended up finding several very nice vintage plush um, but these are called tea bunnies. They were two different colors. They're made by Kids View. There's a little like figure that's of this same series that has like a removable hat. But I had never had these and I think they're adorable. But Sherry did grab them very quickly and I so appreciate the sale. Um, she paid $99.90 for them this. Let me tell you a story. Y'all, I I can't win with these little Tykes dollhouse stuff. Look right here. Condition. This is not child size. I have a picture right here telling you what size they are. I think what I'm going to have to do, I got a return on these. And guess why? She thought she was paying $4.75 shipping and they were child size. So annoying. I'm when, these just got relisted, but I'm going to go today before I put them away. Take a picture with the tape measure in the first picture. And hopefully I'm not going to have this issue again. But it's, I have had this happen so many times. That's why I put, this is not child size, in capital letters, all over the place. And it still happens. So I just got them back today. This, I've probably had this listed 10 years. I am not exaggerating. I picked this up at a Goodwill bins when I quit my last job, which is right after Robert and I got married, um, to do eBay full time as a team and homeschool our kids. This was just something I picked up. I knew the Fossil brand was good. I just didn't realize it was going to take 10 years to sell. And it finally sold $9.15. I bought a bag 
of clowns. I'm pretty sure it was at a consignment sale. So I probably only paid a couple of dollars, but there was some pewter clowns in there. There were some clowns that were painted in like primary colors. And there were these clowns. Um, these finally sold. This set of three sold for $9.95. And again, after a, a delete and sell similar, and they sold. Uh, I, I like picking up little things like this. Clowns are usually very popular. Pink Pig Plush 12 inch. It's tag. It didn't have a tag and it was just so plain that there was no way for me to figure out who the brand was, but it still sold for $16. I do really well with pigs. So, you know, anytime you're out and if you can get them cheaply, definitely check the comps. Not everything is going to sell for $16, but they sell very quickly for me. Now into some of more higher priced ones. Now this La Mutt is the one I showed recently. I picked it up at the Goodwill bins. I saved it, but it was torn. The head, the arm, the leg, the ear, all were torn. More than, and look, what? Let me tell you, I just taught myself how to sew. Y'all, I am so proud of myself. I might not be good at it yet, but I have started doing some of my own small repairs. I looked up ladder stitch. When I was standing in the line at the Goodwill bins in South Carolina, the same one that we met Harry Tor Tornado at, this lady was standing there and we talked for quite a while and she was telling me about the ladder stitch. So I looked it up and relatively easy. Now the thing is, is though I'm using clear thread because I tried using white thread on something and my stitches were not very good. But with the clear thread, you can't tell that I have repaired it. But I would have never taken on this at all. It was majorly damaged. But I still sold it for $30. So just because a vintage toy has significant issues, it's still sold. Lego minifigure. This was a hazmat suit and the ones that I was looking up on eBay comps had a different face. So I knew this guy was different and unique. So I just bumped my price up. Had to wait a little while, but I got a $25 offer for a single figure and went ahead and accepted it. But I have done so well with all of those Lego mini minifigures that we picked up in Cincinnati. <laughs> this was a Robert pickup. Thermoserve Farrah Fawcett, Farrah Fawcett tumblers. These are the six inch tall handled ones. I want to say we paid maybe a dollar each for them. Took a little while to sell. Had to wait for the right buyer, but they ended up selling for $35. So can't beat that, right? And then my best sell. I had no clue when I was showing this in one of my haul videos how unique and well high dollar it was. This is M Mariah Elizabeth. Never heard of it or her. Not quite sure what it is. This per this plush was named Georgie Duck, shaped like a pineapple, and I, I was amazed at the comps. Um, sold for forty two dollars for a plush. When sales are slow, that's that's big. That's big. All right. Y'all hang in there. I know people are stressing about the low sales, but it, it's ebbs and flows. You know, hopefully next week I'm going to have a good week because this week has not been that great. But, you know, it is what it is, and we just have to muddle through it. And again, keep in mind, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter will be here before you know it. And that's where I'm hoping all of this hard work of getting all of this stuff listed from the bins is going to pay off. Fingers crossed, right? All right. Bye.